hope you're all safe and well and looking after each other. Well, a few uh, weeks ago, well, before COVID hit, I did a um, photo shoot with the most gorgeous lady, uh, Karen Borg, who is uh, running for our local council as an independent in the upcoming elections. She needed some shots that would work for her for her campaign, as well as professionally, as she's on three different boards, as well as president of the Willoughby South Progress Association. So she's a very busy woman. So Kirsten Delaney, local fabulous photographer, and I helped her with getting her look together. We went around to her home, looked through her wardrobe and figured out what sort of colors she that she needed, what sort of clothes she needed, the sort of style that she was going to look for. We did some lovely photos for her. So here are some of the photos. I think she's going to be fabulous as an independent member of our local council. So good luck, Karen, uh, Karen's makeup. Just wanted to keep it very soft, natural, very uh, down to earth. I used a lovely sort of pinky tone lip color that sort of went with everything with her wardrobe, mainly because you know, that sort of pinky, soft pinky tone really suits her. So I wanted to talk to you about pink color lipsticks. So I've got one on a new one um, with LipSense and this is called Rockstar. So that's this one, this is gorgeous. With that, I put the pink sand um, lip gloss over the top of it. So these are some of the, my best sellers in the LipSense range. This is Sassy Z. I'll put a swatch on my arm for you to see. So that's Sassy Z, that's just a really lovely, a soft berry rosy tone. And the next one is Goddess. So I'll put that beside it. So that's just much softer and it's more of a sort of a, um, a blush pinky tone. So that's Goddess, that's Sassy Z, that's Goddess. Praline Rose, oh gosh, I sell so much of this Praline Rose. That's just a lovely sort of neutral, natural, rosy pink. A lot of my younger clients really love that one. That's Praline Rose. And then there's, oh, there's so many of them, as you know, there's heaps of lip sense colors. This one's called Girlfriend. Just a little bit warmer, as you can see, just quite a warm pink. And uh, then if you want something that's just really neutral, and some of my teenagers really love this one, this is Blush. Trying to do this upside down. Oh, doesn't work, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> so that's that one there. So that's blush. So it's more of a, a muted, a berry sort of pinky color. So that's really pretty. Not everyone can wear that one. I wouldn't, look awful on me. Um, and then Milk Rose. So this is another really lovely neutral as well. I'm running out of arm because I have to get all this off my arm later. That's Milk Rose, that's really pretty too. So it's just got a little bit more pigment in it. And oh, what else we got? Rosemary is gorgeous if you want something a little bit brighter. Don't forget with your LipSense colors, give them a really good shake every time before you use them. Rosemary I've used a lot for weddings for the bridesmaids. That's just a, it's just a little bit brighter and a little bit warmer. So that's a really pretty pink. And that's, look, I don't want to do too many and I don't want to confuse you, but there's just so many colors to choose from. So with Karen's photo shoot, I didn't use a lip sense because of course with photo shoots, you need to be able to change the lip color, change the makeup, depending on what sort of look that you're going for. And, but with Karen's photo shoot, I think she had the, pretty much the same color on all the way through. I think when we did the uh, the white top, the white blouse we did, um, I'll put a little bit more brightness into it. 
But there you go. So if you're a pink lipstick girl, have a little play and have a little look at the LipSense colors and also all the other beautiful pinks that I have in the um, studio range. Oh, there's a lot to choose from. And vote for Karen. Okay, thanks and bye for now.